This video is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com. Hey, you, it's Jobber here. Gonna be doing an opening on one of these super random storage cube booster pack thingies that you can find over at Walmart. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please post a comment below. Like, subscribe for more. And on that, let's get cracking. Let's find out what's inside this. Pretty much display all of it. And then normally the middle is kind of full of stuffing. It's too bad they don't put a structure deck in it, but we get a lot of random booster packs. So that's pretty cool. So we have uh, one Storm of Ragnarok, one Chateau Spectres, uh, one stack of paper. We have a bunch of the Battle Pack 3 Monster League booster packs. There we go. One giant storage container, which are actually pretty handy. I have been hanging onto these whenever I do an opening and I have them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these booster packs. Then two normal ones. So we're going to do, uh, oh wait, no, three. So we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. And then uh, three base set booster packs. So let's get cracking on these. See what our star foil or shatter foil, whatever they're in. Oh, and we get a rare. Nice, and we got a breakthrough skill. Very cool. That's a very good uh, common to pull for sure. I think they're like five bucks right now, so <laughs> pretty expensive common. Oop, throwing the cards around. Kind of like uh, Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is another one of those common cards that are very good to pull. A pretty significant amount of uh, value for being a common. Vampire Koala. And we have a Call of Honor there too. A couple of good cards. Mirror Wall, very good card to draft if you're drafting with these booster packs with your friends or at a tournament if they're playing, if they're doing draft in, in the top or whatever. Mirror Wall is definitely one of the cards you want to draft. I uh, ended up winning a draft tournament. Well, there was a tournament and then I cut into top eight, which is draft. It was a VIP tournament. Um, and then uh, I drafted, I forgot how many mirror walls, but I ended up getting like four mirror walls. I just lucked out. So yeah, definitely won the draft tournament because of those mirror walls. I basically focused on the spells and traps. Unless there was a super, super amazing monster that came by. I just could not say no to, but pretty much focused on the spells and traps. And then uh, at the very end, got the monsters because um, if you have better traps than your opponent does, and draft, essentially you'll just win. Diamond Direwolf, that's a very good card. Put that right over there. Probably pretty similar value to the breakthrough skill. Four or five dollars, so pretty good card to pull out of this. A Forbidden Chalice, another good card. And now we have our three booster packs. We might as well start with the Storm of Ragnarok. The pack doesn't even seem like it wants to open for me, unfortunately. All right. Oh, nice. DD Sprite, super rare. We pulled a pulled a foil in our first pack. And now we have uh, Shadow Spectres, which has always been a very lucky set for me. It's probably going to change now. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got a, got a synchro there. I thought it was a foil. Still a pretty good pack overall. And for our last booster pack opening of this video. Ah, oh, dang it. I uh, I cursed it by saying that it's... Well, it still doesn't matter. The amount of luck that that, that set has given me overweigh having uh, <laughs> a couple of packs not pulling super amazing out of we're gonna do a quick recap of all the commons and rares that we ended up pulling in today's video so we go through them briefly look at the forbidden chalice a really good card a card that was getting a lot of play and multiple decks for a long period of time ocg and in the tcg which is pretty much japan and uh, the u.s and then we pulled one dd sprite is our super rare and we got this, uh, we got the Shatter Foil, Diamond Direwolf, and we pulled one common breakthrough skill, which is actually pretty hard to pull, including the Diamond Direwolf. So, very happy to pull those. Overall, I actually like this cube. This cube uh, ended up being really good this time. So, on that, 
Jobber here is signing off.